By law, the Pentagon is required to tell the public what it knows about UFOs. We're hearing the report is coming out on or about June 25th. Yesterday, someone at the Pentagon gave an early read on the report to the New York Times. In that story, we learned the Pentagon cannot say that UFOs are from a different solar system, but they can't say they're not. They can't say they're from China or Russia, but they can't say they're not. Doesn't sound like they can say much of anything. Lou Elizondo is a longtime Pentagon official. For years, he oversaw investigations at the U.S. government into UFOs. He's left now. He and his organization, Skyford, have obtained a government document that proves the advanced Tic Tac UFO has been tracked by American military intel services for at least 70 years. What is the, what is this document you've obtained show us? Well, this is a document that was obtained through the Freedom of Information Act, and it demonstrates quite clearly that we have had issues with these, if you will, these UAPs or UFOs in the vernacular for, for at least 70 years, at least since 1950, probably earlier. And this is official U.S. government correspondence. This isn't some eyewitness report from, from a civilian. This is official government documentation from military personnel to very senior military brass. And what it says is very quite compelling that, look, we've had a lot of military and intelligence eyewitnesses to include special agents uh, and scientists, and all of them are seeing these things. And more importantly, the frequency uh, has occurred on a regular and continu continuing basis over sensitive uh, U.S. military facilities. And this has been occurring, Tucker, again, since 1950, uh, according to official U.S. government documentation. So, so think about that for a minute when we talk about that on the backdrop of this, this recent revelation that the U.S. government has finally admitted that this is not some sort of secret U.S. technology. Well, okay, that's great. We already knew that. But now there is some wiggle room to say, well, maybe it's some sort of foreign adversarial technology. Well, here's the problem with that theory, because we know that the Russians, after the, after the Berlin Wall came down, they shared a lot of information with us. There was this five-year period or so, this, this new romance between us and Russia, where they shared a lot of their UFO information with us. And by the way, they were seeing exactly the same thing in their skies that we were. So, so we're sure it's, it's not Russian. So then really the only other, other country that could possibly be would maybe be China. Well, let's look at that for a second, Tucker, because you're talking about a country that for somehow for 70 years has kept this technology that was at least a thousand years ahead of us, kept it secret, was able to employ it against us all the way back in 19, 1950. By the way, this is the same country that steals billions of dollars worth of our technology each year, trying to keep a competitive advantage to this day with our country. Now, does, does that make a whole lot of sense to you? No, no. It does, I mean, there were famines in China 70 years ago.